Proceduralism is a huge time saver for the right kind of tasks, but it can really slow you down if you use it at the wrong time. For true speed in any situation, you need to know how to drive Houdini interactively. Welcome to Geometry Essential 7, Interactive Selections. For direct modeling, speed is often about selecting the next set of components for the next operation as quickly as possible. And that's where we start, with the buttons, hotkey and click combinations that will get you modeling faster. When it comes to working interactively, there's a whole raft of need-to-know things that frankly no one ever really talks about. The importance of cursor position, for example, or using cut selections, secure selections and reselections. There are so many more, and we'll fill you in on all these before setting you up with some classic hard surface modeling exercises to help you put the theory into practice. Connected geometry isn't something you think about every day when working in other applications, but in Houdini it's a big deal. We'll show you how to visualize and select islands of connected geometry and how connectivity is all controlled by splitting and fusing points. Previous Geometry Essentials courses taught you all there is to know about normals. Here you'll learn how to use that knowledge for making comprehensive selections in just a few clicks. This Mighty Selection tool works in a few different modes, so we'll show you which one to use and when as we work through more practical examples. If you've made an important selection, you'll often want to save it. Groups exist for just that purpose. We'll give you essential tools and techniques for creating, visualizing and selecting groups directly in the viewport. You'll also come away knowing how to use string attributes for saving your selections. We'll unpack the name and path attributes and teach you how groups differ and when to use which one. When you import geometry into Houdini, there's a whole lot of data that comes along for the ride. That might seem intimidating at first, but it'll be anything but after we show you how to inspect that data and use it to make fast and meaningful selections. Houdini's a procedural powerhouse, but if you want to make it even more versatile and finally replace that old 3D app you keep reaching back for, then it's time to learn how to drive Houdini in interactive mode. Think of Geometry Central 7 as your driving instructor. Ready and waiting at hitflash.have.